Alright guys, I'm gonna just check this mission out, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. We have to go build an outpost uh, in the desert biome, so let's do it guys. Hopefully this walkthrough will help you out, if it doesn't, sorry, but I hope it does. Um, Alright, this is the first playthrough of it, so we're gonna learn everything together. Alright, we have to go. Alright, so basically we're setting up a base for, uh, obviously... More explorers, so we want that there. Got our canister and our water. Now I'm not too sure how that, the canister works. This is the first time I've I've used it. I just unlocked it, so anyway, we're gonna make our way towards. Why didn't it mark on the map? White now. Is that what it is? Okay, so they've changed it to white. So it used to be red. So there's been a new new update, so okay, that's fine. All right, pop some of these. Watermelon's always good to eat. I'll right, we'll just collect a heap of shit along the way as we make our way. Do grab ourselves some. Oh, I won't be talking throughout the whole lot. I'll just uh, I'll be playing and skipping bits and pieces, obviously, that are boring and not needed in the actual gameplay for you. But I will explain my thought process on certain things. We've got a fair way to go. We've got to obviously go around these big ass mountains. But if you're enjoying the uh, enjoy this guide, please drop it a thumbs up. Maybe even consider subscribing if you uh, get a bit out of it. I'll try and do these regularly on. All the missions moving forward, and if there's something that you uh, that I haven't done or would like done, please let me know in the comments. I'm obviously predominantly a solo player. Oh, that was a jump and a half! Holy! I need all this stuff. Uh, might as well consume another one while we're here. I know that it doesn't stack, but on. Come here, Mr. Wolf. How you doing, buddy? Where are you? Can't see you. This guy's well hidden. <laughs> Can't see nothing. There you are. Oh, this is what's it? Oh, there's a boar or something coming by the sounds of it. Need the bones. Start harvesting some uh, flesh so we can get everything we need to set up our first little outpost. Which, depending on where we have to travel to, will be dependent on where we set up our little base. Okay, fill up our water bottle. Now I don't know how this oxygen tank works. I'm gonna learn this oxygen tank out somehow. I don't know how it works. All right. So yeah, we'll be setting up our little base somewhere. Now I think there was a tunnel around here that went through. Yeah, I thought there was. Did this? I reckon I set up a very similar. I reckon I set up a base over here for another mission. Can't really think what mission it was. Yeah, this, that's right. It's the uh, the dry run expedition uses this tunnel um, and takes you out the other side to the desert. Pretty cool, actually. Now, you'll have the worms in here that you'll need to kill. We don't have any... Uh, depends, are they going to spawn? Doesn't look like it. Now they've upped the, uh, the spawn rate gold and stuff, so that's really good in this latest uh, update. So guys, now we're out into the uh, desert biome. Uh, we came through the cave. Basically, if you do the dry expedition, that's where you'll come through, and that's where you finish your mission. Now, if you want to level up, this is the place for it. The desert biome is the place for leveling up. You get 
hyenas, for example, one hyena, you'll get anywhere from 3,000 to nearly 4,000 XP per hyena. You can one-shot them if you've got the longbow and bone arrows. Like, it's awesome for leveling up. Um, out here, I highly recommend you get the... You put a talent point here and a talent point here to unlock this wood breakdown and use a talent point here because when you're in the desert, there's not many trees, and there's not many shrubs, so you will not get much wood. And the problem with that is, is you will not get many sticks either. So then you need to put a point on this uh, tier one stick uh, craft blueprint. So then you can turn wood uh, wood into sticks. Trust me, highly, re highly worth it, highly recommend it because you will not find many sticks around at all. Now, if you are going to take on an elephant, make sure you can get to a high ground on a rock that they cannot reach you on and you'll be fine. Um, because they do take quite a few arrows. But if you do have a, a bow and arrow and a longbow, you'll one-shot pretty much most hyenas and most animals. Cougars and stuff like that, no problems. Zebras. Uh, but yeah, ele elephants will take a few. Now, the other thing I've learned from... Uh, this map is look at where you're going because there are so many cliffs and ridges. So we need to be on the other side of this uh, river, if you will. And if we go up this way, we're going to be walking a long, long way like here. Then we have to come up here, then all the way back around. I highly recommend you look at your map and look for the low spots. So already I need to go back, down across here and up here because otherwise I'll be running all the way around. I learned that the hard way. Whoop, the hard way doing uh, another mission. So now we've got an elephant coming. Kind of sucks. Anyway, let's move on. Take that. Take take this hyena out. So I'll just show you. So we'll take the hyena out, and if you look up the top left, you get thirty one hundred XP just for that hy hyena. Like that's that's brilliant. So you want to level up fast? Desert biome way to do it. Okay, guys, hundred percent the best way to do it. Set up base and go hunting. I did that uh, on my last, on the dry run. No, not the dry run. The... What expedition was it? I can't really remember now. Oh, I was the scanning one. Um, oh, that doesn't sound good. Alright. Try and get to, uh, we've got a watermelon here, don't we? Watermelons are great for uh, our hunger. Now these cactus, you can get sap in that out of. I've never used sap yet because I just haven't needed to. There's a lot of you'll see that I've got a lot of blueprint points because I just haven't used them because I don't need them currently. But once I start taking up or longer missions or harder missions, I will uh, obviously start doing that. But um, now, I just I'll use them when I need to unlock certain things. So, highly recommend you save save your points until you actually need them, especially talent points because uh, <laughs> there's only a limited amount of those bad boys. Okay, so as you can see, what do we need to do? We need to establish a hunting outpost, construct a skinning bench, trophy bench, textiles bench, and a rain reservoir. Whew, okay, so this mission's gonna take a bit. Now, they did say it was a hard mission, so... Anyway, so we need to get to it. So we need to harvest a lot of stuff now. You'll find most place, uh, the most probably best place to find any sort of like wood trees is, is gonna be along the river. Um, so, I'm going to have to go back down and, oh god, oh my lord, okay, alright, so everybody's coming along now for the run, oh dear me, that was a crazy moment.
But, uh, all good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go harvest a heap of timber. Come back and set up a base camp. See what else uh, this challenge brings us. Now, as I said, those elephants can be a real pain in the ass to kill. So, try not to aggro them. So you can kill them, obviously. But you need to get onto high ground that they can't get onto. Otherwise, uh, you're going to be in a bit of trouble. And the other thing I noticed is yeah, oxygen around here is few and far between. So, do make sure you've got plenty. Uh, right, let's just get that. Don't need it. So, we need to now sort out. We need a heap of timber. Rocks aren't too bad. Awesome. So now we've got... I've never had a heat storm. So this is going to be interesting. So we need to get down there ASAP. Otherwise, uh, we're probably dead. Because uh, heat storms... The heat out here, it smashes you. And like I said, you're on these big... Whoa, dude. Just chill out, man. Um, like I said, on, on this... Uh, map there's not many ridges where you can get down so you kind of have to run all the way around but it's safe to do so sometimes you can find uh, little ledges and stuff that you can drop down onto but you run the risk of obviously breaking your legs like i might actually break my legs here but oh, oh, oh my god i was packing shit there guys right we need to go hard Um, so, as I mentioned, you need... I'm going to overheat already. Uh, okay, so we need to... I'm just going to craft two of these. Craft myself a little... A little house. Because I reckon we're going to... We're not going to make it back up the top there. We're going to need to do that, guys. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. Where's my... Okay. Uh, this one. Yeah, see, we're already taking damage. So, okay, that's brutal. <laughs> All right. Whew. Hello? What do you mean? Uh, do we have to craft the door? Okay, you need to craft the door as well. Okay. Whew. All right, guys. So you can see I already started taking a lot of damage real quick. Um, just from this little storm. So, the heat wave, sorry. Okay, that's alright guys, that's alright. Now Coconut gives you some wicked buffs. So we're just going to wait for this storm to pass. We'll probably leave this one down here anyway, because we're probably going to spend a bit of time running this river. So it would be good to leave it here, just in case uh, we have any more storms, or we need to quickly seek shelter. I mean, you could even set up a bed here if you wanted to set up a spawn, a, a spawn point while you're down here, just in case. But ultimately we're going to be up, back up on the ridge, uh, up here. Setting up our uh, base camp mission. So, we got ourselves a nice hunting outpost. We're do now, I know I don't have the skinning bench unlocked or the trophy bench. I have the textile bench. I don't have... So, this is where you got to spend, obviously, blueprint, blueprint points on uh, on the mission to actually finish it. So, I say hang on to your blueprint points, just in case. I think people will waste their blueprint points unnecessarily. So... You can see, I saved my blueprint points from, like, level 15, I reckon, and I've only used them as I need. So, so we need... I'll probably craft that. No, I don't need that. I already have... Like, tier 1, I haven't spent a lot of points on, like, just a bare minimum. Uh, I did not do any thatch, because it's just pointless. Maybe I won't worry about the ladder for now. Alright, the heat wave's nearly gone. Alright, so we're good. So now let's get ourselves oxide. Might might actually set up a bed and a campfire here just because we're going to need to cook some food real quick. So we might as well set up it's you know it's seven uh, five o'clock. Need to go to bed soon. <laughs> Oops. 
as a spawn point. Don't forget to set it as a spawn point. Um, let's chuck there for the moment. Highly recommend if you're close to leveling up, do it. Because if you die, you lose that whole level of experience. Which is not helpful. Alright, day two. Let's get into it. Let's build ourselves a hunting outpost. We've gathered a few resources to at least get us started. Now what I think is going to be a very big problem is when you start building, I reckon you're going to get attacked by elephants. Because this mission is actually classified as hard. So we'll see. Establish ourselves. Hunting outpost. Like I said, you're going to level up fast on a desert biome. Just because hyenas and cougars are everywhere. They're 3,700 XP just for killing him. Alright, now that we're back, we're going to keep on going with uh, building this awesome hunting outpost for uh, these people that we're building it for. <laughs> Let's go do that. I'm going to fix this ramp. It was starting. Ramp. <laughs> this ramp. Anyway. First time I built a ramp. Okay, guys. As I said, I am very basic. I don't... I think they're going to be pretty happy with this ramp. So what we might do is we might actually build another level up. We'll see how we go. The, the thing with this game is you just got to take your time and have fun with it. Don't rush it. What did I say? i got to go get some rock. Severe desert winds are coming. Alright, luckily we got our little house built. Now what I'm thinking is we're probably going to need this. Because i got a feeling that these severe de desert winds will shred our house. I've got a feeling. Got a feeling. Anyway, do a few things while we're waiting for this desert winds to go on by, but... Got a feeling. I got a feeling. Boy, <laughs> that. Um, we're gonna set it up. Where? Sh how should we lay out this awesome base? Awesome hunting outpost. Boom. Okay, we got that bad boy. Uh, do we want to set up a bed here? I'm gonna. Mm, no, I won't set up a bed just yet. Right, so now what else do we have to do? We have to set up a skinning bench, a trophy bench. A skinning bench. I am not sure. That one, but. Probably tier two. Yep, there it is. So we need the skinning bench. Which we can craft from here, I'd imagine. Skinning bench. So we need a lot of timber. We need to do the textile bench. See, so already we need to go get um, timber. So, um, might go and do that, I reckon. I oh, know we can't because of the weather event. So, let's put a heap of stuff in here that we're not using. Alright, actually. I'm going to build this, because I've never actually used this, and I'm wondering if that's how I fill up my thing. I don't know, so we're going to learn something. Second, if it works, killer, I'll be able to fill up my 
tank, but I don't know. I actually have no idea. <laughs> uh, right. F to interact. So we need that. We need more of them, obviously. Then what, this? Does this go... Ah, uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to get... So that's cool. That's cool. All right, we just got to wa wait for these stupid storm to pass. All right, so we just weathered the storm, as you can tell. And now there's... Just had a snowstorm, but it's disappeared, so... A snowstorm in the desert. So... This base, I'm thinking we're going to have to upgrade to stone, which I haven't done. Why is this not repairing? Gosh. We'll just do some minor repairs on the base, and then we'll head off out to get more resources to build the rest of the stuff we need. All right, now we've gone around and gathered a heap of wood and some other bits and pieces so we can continue on making this awesome uh, hunting outpost. Nice little window so we can check out what's going on out here, guys. And then, uh, yeah, we've got to fix this ramp. And potentially, we'll turn it into a... Uh, turn it into a um, stone. Oh, so it requires sulfur. Okay, I didn't realize it required sulfur. That's okay. There's a sulfur rock. It's around the corner. Uh, we'll go and get that shortly. Can I fit this one here? Look at that. I can. Look at that. That is what you call efficient use of space, guys. Oops. Oh, dear. Boom. A nice skinning bench. Now, we need a trophy bench. Now, I know that I definitely do not have that. Tier 2, I reckon. Trophy bench. Prop plot. I don't think I really want to worry about, you know, planting things, but... Right, what do we need for the trophy bench? Textiles, masonry, trophy bench. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay here we go. Jeez. So, oh, okay, so we're going to need... <laughs> we're going to need a lot of iron. going to need copper. Oh, man. We're going to need a lot, guys. We're going to... Masonry bench. Yeah, stone furnace. All right, we're going to have to go find a cave, and, uh, yeah. So I can see why it's classified as hard. I think it's just more hard because it's long, potentially. Like, you got to go do a lot of stuff. You're going to need a lot of equipment, So which is cool, because I don't normally build, and I'm actually pretty happy that we've got a building one. So, yeah, we're going to have to go looking for a cave, which... Mm, that'll be an interesting one. I'm not too familiar on caves around here, so we'll have to go looking. Uh, but we're going to have to make our bed now. It will come in cold. Get the night done. We've made some decent progress, I think, today. Make some oxygen. Lovely. Let's build... Uh, you can't deploy from there, which is... Alright, guys, we're going <laughs> to... We need a lot of stuff. And we could run through and go back to these caves here. Oh, we'll see. I'm not sure yet. I'll go exploring around here. We'll have a look. Maybe we can find ourselves a map of some caves around this area. And there we go. But for now, we're going to craft ourselves a bed. Okay, we've got our bed. Let's deploy that. We're in the corner here. Put that there. Now, I th oh, you know what? I think I stuffed up. I think we need a window. All right, now, I don't know if my fire work. I'm here to go to bed, but we'll soon find out. Chuck that there for now. Let's activate that. And in the morning, we'll set out to find some caves, I reckon. That does work. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. Let's offload a heap of this shit that we don't need. Let's just wait for a few more bits and pieces of... Uh... All right. Now, we've got everything we need, guys. So, we're going to head out and uh, look for some caves to get some iron ore. And... Uh... Hopper. There is a lot of animals around us right now. Okay. Now, we found cave map online, so we're going to go have a look around and see what we can find. Marked one that's reasonably close, it's just around here somewhere, so I'm wondering if it's the one that I went to just before. I don't think it is, so that's good. Okay, first cave. Right, now we need to be prepared for the worms. Clear this cave out. A little cave with one worm. Okay. 
Alright, got some iron, which is awesome. So we're going to harvest this, get some gear, head back to base, and build our next project. Alright, so we managed to find ourselves a good amount of iron ore in there. So we're just going to head back to base and drop it off. I should probably start smeltering it down into inlets. And then go and find ourselves another cave. Let's do that. Right. So what we want to do is we want to drop all this into here. We need to... Oh dear. What's in here? Oi. Be a nice pussycat. Oh. Let's uh, get smeltering. We need a shitload of uh, iron. We need to make ourselves a anvil. We need the trophy bench. We need the masonry bench. To make iron. No, we need the anvil to make the iron nails. We're gonna need a lot. We need a lot of stuff, guys. <laughs> right, let's craft. What do we need? Twelve ropes. So we need a lot of fiber. We need a lot of fiber. A lot of fiber, guys. A lot of fiber. Right, so this is going to make our iron ingots, which is going to take a fair while. Then we need to find a... We need to go up to L6. There is another cave up there. So... I'll just let that do its thing. Here it is. Dave, let's see what we can find. Where are the worms? This is a good cave for uh, iron. Wow. What I'm really surprised about is there's... N they seem to have toned down the worms a bit because they were crazy. Uh, but there is a lot of um, iron in this in this cave. That's fantastic. Right, we need copper. Okay, so we've harvested uh, some copper. We've got uh, some a little bit of iron, some wood, some fiber. We're gonna head back to the base. All right, so we made it back to the base. Now we need to just see what we need to smelt. We need to obviously do copper. We've got plenty of iron, which is great. In a masonry bench, okay, we've got to build the anvil. So let's do that so we can get our nails. So then we can do the masonry bench and the trophy bench. We need to make some rope, five rope. Rough that, and we need copper nails. So now is our anvil ready? Yep, beautiful. Let's quickly deploy that. That here just is small. Boom. Now, copper nails. Okay, so, holy crap, that just sh I just shat myself. I thought I was on fire, guys. I thought I was on fire. So yeah, this is why I want to turn this into a masonry building because the storms really mess up your shit. Hit 120 nails. That's a lot of nails. Back to 10, so we need 12 of them. That, so now we need to make some copper nails. Masonry bench we've built. Yep, so let's deploy that real quick. Right here. Got our masonry bench. Need to build a trophy bench. So we need copper nails and more rope. So over them. 50 copper nails. We need to max. So what are they coming? 10, so we just need 5. I don't know, but that's fine. We'll just do that. Okay. Where were we? We need these copper nails. We need to build this trophy bench. Let's go. So, we've got our trophy bench. We'll put that down. Trophy bench can go maybe here. Boom. Textiles bench, which we can make. Yep, we can make that. Fantastic. Got it going on, guys. And we just got the rain reservoir left. And we got ourselves a wicked little house. But we're going to turn it into a, obviously, masonry, I believe, because the uh, sandstorms and shit like that really take a toll. Put it on, this angle, on an angle. 
Hey, there we go. Uh. Boom. But now we're just going to put our bed back down here. Because why not? Spawn point. Okay. We're all right. Now that we got everything up and running, the only thing we need to do is the rain reservoir. But right now, I'm going to go get some more uh, stone wood, um, so we can start turning this into a upgrade this to a stone walls. Oh. All right. So, like I mentioned, guys, we're just coming down to this cave here because it was full of iron ore, which is what we will need potentially for more nails and iron ingots, inglots, whatever you want to call them. And then, as I said, there was a heap of trees down here, so we're going to harvest a heap of trees, load up our backpack. Head back to base. We should. Good to go. Now, I don't know if there's any they've respawned or not. There was one worm in here. Doesn't look like there is another one. So we're, oh, no. Oh, no. I dropped my bow. Run. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. Oh, God damn. I threw my bow. I just shat myself. I was like, oh, my God. We're gonna die, but we're all good. All right, let's get a heap of iron ore. Probably don't need heaps and heaps and heaps. Um, probably 16 kilo. We can get a fair bit, but we need a bit of stone and wood, so we'll get a bit. You don't have to do this. Um, I just want to upgrade my outpost because it's cool. Because I'll probably go do a heap of hunting and level up after this mission. As I said, I, I'm more of a uh, solo player, so. I'm going to put a heap of, heap of points into my solo tree. <clears throat> Leave a few spare just in case. Alright guys, we're back to our base after collecting a heap of uh, materials. So let's get to crafting uh, nails and some stone wall upgrades. So I dare say we're going to need a fair few. So we'll just take whatever we got. Uh, hunt. We're going to go get some more rocks and we'll be back. Alright guys, we finished the house. I just wanted to upgrade it all to stone. You do not have to do this to complete the mission. So there it is. There's the uh, hunting outpost is now being constructed, so we are 100% completed the house. So anything left to do, construct the rain reservoir and the mission will complete. So, let's have a look at what we need to do with that. We need to get sticks with wood that we can change into sticks. Let's do, do lots of that. Okay, let's craft the rainwater. That is done. We are finished. We will place it outside for some rain to come. And that is this mission. It says that it's hard. I wouldn't say it's super hard. It's just more time consuming personally. Because you have to uh, find a lot of product in terms of ores, iron ore, and copper, copper ore to create ventures that uh, you complete the uh, task. So. It does get a little bit frustrating with the animals sometimes. They just they don't leave you alone as you go right there. So let's go ahead and fish this. Now I don't know. I mean, really, it's not going to matter too much where we place this, but let's just put it here. We are done. Here we go, guys. Mission completed. If you're looking to earn the assembly's trust, you're doing it, and that's not easy. Right. So there you go, guys. Mission completed. Now, obviously, you can uh, make your way back to the ship to head back to space. However, I'm going to hang around here and go do some exploring for watching this uh, guide slash playthrough. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Um, and look, if you want to come back for more, please subscribe. That would be amazing. Appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Look forward to the next one. Let me know if there's one that you want me to go through for you. I'm happy to do it. Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys. See ya.